everyone, welcome back for this week's Stamp Create Repeat video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute little chapstick holder. It's kind of like a little card that has a little chapstick holder inside and so I'm going to show you how I made it and I just think it turned out so stinking cute. I think it's a perfect little present to give. You could put a little gift card in it or just leave it the way it is. So I'm going to open it up and show you inside and then I'll get into the process video. So inside here, there is a little spot where you can put the chapstick and then I've got a little white spot here so you can put a little message and you could put any type of little chapstick or little lip balm in there. You could also put the little Maybelline Baby Bell ones in there. I love those, like a cute little fancy one. So I'm just going to put the twine back in here and I'll start by showing you what you'll need to make this little project and then I will start the process video. I will also link all the products below so that it's nice and easy for you to find over in the Your Next Stamp store. So first up I used the Your Next Stamp Black Olive Ink and also the Your Next Stamp Pink Flamingo Ink and it made such a cute background there. Then I used the Your Next Stamp Gumdrops. This one is the Pretty Peacock Matte Gumdrops and I used these small sized pink and purple ones. I also use the Your Next Stamp Birthday Girl paper pad and this is so cute with all the little birthday papers and a ton of bright colors. So I use that cute little pink gingham one. For these stamp sets that I used, I used this little tiny stamp set here. This is the Mini Alpha Ink Splatter and it's a nice tiny size and it just fit absolutely perfect and created a really sweet little background for that little unicorn to be on. For the little unicorn and the sentiments, I got it from this spin and twirl carousel set. So there is the little unicorn and then I also used the spin and twirl you're the birthday girl sentiment and I thought that was so precious because all the little letters are kind of like all spun around and mixed up so I thought that was a perfect sentiment and then you've got the little unicorn there. And I also did use the coordinating dies that you can purchase separate. I used the Your Next Stamp wire snips to trim apart my dies. I also used a little hole punch so that you can add in your little twine. I used some twine and this is just from the dollar store that I picked up. And then I also used my paper trimmer. You could use a scoreboard if you have one but you'll also need the trimmer to cut apart the paper and measure it. And then I used this little score tool here. So I'm going to try to make this as easy as I can for the tutorial. So what I did was I wrote out all the measurements on these little pieces of paper and I'm going to show these as I go through it so that you'll know what measurements I used and which pieces I'm talking about. So let's get into the process video. I hope that you will enjoy and let's get started. So I thought I would start out by just putting all the pieces on screen with all the measurements in case you want to write it down. So this first piece we're going to cut out is going to be five and three quarter inches by three and a half inches. And then we're going to score it at two and a half inches and at three and a quarter inches. And we're going to need one of those. And then I just did that on pink cardstock. And then also on the same pink cardstock, you'll need a piece that's three and a half inches by three quarter inches and then you're going to score it at two and a half and at one inch. The pattern paper will cut out three of these at two and a quarter inch by three and a quarter inch. You'll need one cardstock in white that's two inches by three inches and another one at two and a quarter inches by three and a quarter inches. So let's get started trimming these out. So to begin, I'm just going to take my paper trimmer. I don't actually have a scoreboard. I do want to get one soon, but I always just use my Fiskars trimmer. So we're going to start out by cutting out this first piece on pink cardstock. So we're going to cut it at five and three quarters to begin. And then we're going to cut it at three and a half inches. And now that we have it cut, we want to add the scoring. So we want to score it at two and a half inches. And I'm just going to take my score tool here. And then we're going to do it at three and a quarter inches. So we're going to score it at both spots. And I just take it and add the scoring. And now we have the base for the little lip balm holder. And I'm just going to crease it at that spot. There we go. And you will notice I don't have this video sped up as much as I normally do because I want to make sure that I can explain all the parts so that you guys can try to make one of these at home. So let's make the next part which is going to be trimmed at three and a half inches by three quarter inches. So I'm going to start out with the three and a half. 
and then I'm going to trim it at three quarter inches. Then once you have cut it, then we can do the scoring part. So we're going to score it so that it holds the lip balm in our holder. So we're gonna score it at two and a half inches and also at one inch. So we'll do the two and a half inches first and then the one inch. There we go, and then we can just fold it on those little bits. And I'm just gonna show you how it will go inside. So it's basically going to be on the same score lines as the other part. And we're just going to bend it a little bit and that is what is going to hold the little lip balm. And then we can just slip a little lip balm inside there. So now we're gonna cut out this piece here, which is two and a quarter inches by three and a quarter inches. And we're just cutting it out on white cardstock. So we'll start with the three quarter inch by two quarter inches. And this piece here is going to be the piece that goes inside of our little lip balm holder. And it's going to be a spot to put a little message on. So if you wanna write a little message inside and it's gonna go over top of that little piece so that it covers it up nicely just like that, and then you can put your little message. Now using the white cardstock, we're gonna cut out one more little piece, and this is going to be the piece that goes on the front of our lip balm holder. So this piece is gonna be three inches by two inches. So let's trim out first the three inches, and then we can trim it by two inches. And then this piece is going to go on the front of our little holder. And then we're going to have the cute little gingham behind it so that we have a little bit of that popping through. So now we'll cut out the little gingham pieces. So we're gonna need three of these little pieces here. It's gonna be two, quarter, two and a quarter inch by three and a quarter inch. And this is going to be using this cute gingham paper which is from the Birthday Girl paper pad. So we're gonna need to cut out three of these. So let's do the first one. So it's gonna be two and a quarter inch by three and a quarter inch. So two quarter inches, two and a quarter inch by three and a quarter inch. So there's our first piece. And now we're gonna do two more of those. So I'm actually gonna do it the other way so that I can cut out two at the same time. So first I'm gonna do the three and a quarter inch. And then it's going to be at two and a quarter inch. So there's our second one. And now just one more. So another one at two and a quarter inch. So we've got our three little pieces and I'll show you what these three little pieces will be for. So we're going to have one piece on the back. We're also going to have one piece on the front. And then the piece that we've just previously cut out that was white is gonna be layered on top of that. And then inside, we're going to have one of those little gingham pieces on the side there. And then that other white piece that we cut out is going to go on the other side. So there's all of our little pieces that we needed to cut out. So now we can get to the stamping portion. So on this one here, that's two and a quarter inch by three and a quarter inch. This one is going to be inside. This is where we're gonna put our little message, but I thought it'd be cute to add a little bit of stamping on the inside. 
So since I'm gonna be using this pink flamingo ink, I thought I would use this pink ink to add one of those cute little tickets. I just love this ticket. It says admit one and it's so cute for like a little birthday like fair type of theme. So I'm just going to add on the little pink flamingo ink here. And I just think it adds a sweet little touch inside. And then I just kind of did it diagonally and it leaves a ton of space for you to put who it's for, who it's from, and even a little message as well. So that piece is going to go right there inside. And then we can put our little message. So for the next piece, we're gonna use the piece that's two inches by three inches. And that's the piece that's going to go on the front that's gonna be layered up on the gingham. So we're gonna have the gingham on the front and then that piece is gonna go on top. So this is the piece that we wanna decorate because it's going to be our front panel piece. So we're gonna start out by adding kind of like a background and this background stamp is so stinking cute. So we're gonna use the sentiments that say spin and twirl or the birthday girl. And then we're going to have this really cute little background stamp in the center and it fits so perfectly there. So we're going to stamp this one out first in the pink flamingo ink. So let's take this one. This stamp does come in a large size and a mini size. This is the mini one. And there's a ton of these really great mini background stamps. Check it out if you're over on the site, if you just type in mini splatter and a whole bunch of them should come up for you to see. So I'm just inking this up with the pink flamingo ink. So I'm just going to stamp that on there and that gives us a nice little background like focal point where we can put our stamped image. Now using some black olive ink, I'm going to stamp out the spin and twirl. And I'm gonna put that sentiment at the top there. And I think it goes perfect because all those little letters are spinning and twirling around. They're all kind of like chaotically going everywhere, which is so cute. So it looks perfect that it's all like, looks like it's spinning. And then for the bottom sentiments, it's going to say, you're the birthday girl. Perfect, so now I'm gonna show you where this part would go. So it's going to go on top of this little gingham piece here. So cute, and now we can pick one of the cute little carousel horses to put on it. So there is so many to choose from. You could make a whole bunch of different ones. There's a zebra, a pegasus, there's a unicorn, and a little pony. I'm going to use the little unicorn one that has flowers on her. So I'm going to stamp this out with the black olive ink. And now I'm going to use the coordinating dies and my wire trimmer. I'm just going to trim apart this little die here. And now I'm going to run it through my Sizzix die cutting machine. I'm just taking some post-it note tape. You could use masking tape or washi tape just to hold down the little die. And that will just keep it right centered how I want it to go through the machine and cut out our little image. And I'll show you the reveal of it. This is my favorite part after cutting them out with the die cuts. It cuts it so perfectly and it gets in all the little spots. It is amazing. I love these dies. So there's our little pony. And now we can start to do the coloring. So for the main part of the horse, I'm using W3. And these are my Copic markers. So I'm just adding on the darkest portion of shading. And then I'm going in with W1. And it's a really nice kind of warm gray color. Then I go back in with W3 just to darken up those darkest portions. Now I'm going to do the bottom part of the feet in C4 and C2. For the hair, I'm using RV11 and I'm just skipping every other like kind of strand so that it goes back and forth between pink and purple. Then I'm using the BV01 for the purple part and adding in the purple bits. Then for the little saddle and straps, I'm using BG13 and BG10. And then I go back in with BG13 just to darken it up and then the BG10 again. And I'm just doing the little reins that are on the front there. Now I go back in with a darker pink and purple. So for the pink, I use RV14. And for the purple, I use BV13 just to darken it up a little bit. 
And then there's a little bit of flowers, so I used that yellow color for the flowers and then the same pink and purple for the little bits of flowers. I took my black jelly pen for the eye and when it was dry, I added on a little white dot in the middle. And there is our stamped image. So I've got all our little pieces out here and now we can start to assemble our little chapstick holder. So I'm gonna start out by taking this big piece here and I have it all ready. So I'm going to flip it over like this and I'm going to start by adding on the two little gingham pieces there. I'm gonna use my ATG gun to adhere on all of the pieces. So I'm going to add on this first piece. So this is going to be the front. And you could make these for any type of occasion. They'd be really cute for Halloween. They're a cute birthday gift like what I did. They'd also be super cute in a little stocking for Christmas if you use some Christmas papers and Christmas stamped images for Valentine's Day. There's just so many cute occasions you could use them. So now I have my front and back there. And now we can take this part that says, spin and twirl, you're the birthday girl. So I'm going to adhere that onto the gingham paper. And I'm just centering it on there. And now I can add on that cute little unicorn. She just looks so precious there in the middle. And I just love that little splatter of letters behind her. So I'm just adding a little bit of adhesive to her and putting her on. And it just really makes her pop that that piece is on the stamped background and then this is cut out. It just really makes it pop. So cute. Now we're going to open it up and we can add in this little piece here. You wanna make sure to add that first and then you can add on these pieces after and it will cover up those little extra pieces. If you were to put these down first and then put this piece on top, you're going to have it covering up your little pieces there. So you want to do this one first. You're only going to put adhesive on the two little end tabs there. The middle part is going to be where the chapstick goes in. So you don't want to have any adhesive on that part. And so this part kind of just curves and you're gonna make those two little folds line up with the other folds and you can take a pen or just put the little chapstick in there to kind of get it to curve a little bit. And you can just center it there. Now we're gonna take this little backing piece and put it on, the one that says admit one. And this is going to be where you can write your message inside. There we go, and I'm just centering that, and then we can add on that other piece of gingham. And this is just to cover it up, basically, that little cardstock piece that's showing. We just wanna make it look nice and tidy inside. So cute. And then it folds perfectly and it will hold your cute little chapstick. So now what we wanna do is put our little chapstick in and you could use any type of chapstick you wanna put in. I just put a little Lipsil one just right now as I'm showing you this. But you could also use the cute little like Maybelline Baby Bell one. I love those, they're so colorful. So now we just wanna add on our little hole so that it will stay closed. So I'm just taking a hole punch and I'm going to close it and then you can do the hole punch through all the pieces at once. And I did have to do this part off camera. I'm showing you where I did it, but I had to move it aside because I couldn't do it in front of the camera. But now we have our little hole. You could add ribbon through there or twine. It's totally up to you, but I just chose to use this cute pink twine. And I'm just taking a nice big piece. And then I'm going to fold it in half so it's doubled up. And then you can just put that little piece through. And then once I bring it through, I just take my scissors and um, trim that piece right there so that it, they all have like little ends to them. And then I can just tie on a little bow so that it will stay closed. And then I'm just going to take my scissors and trim off that little excess of the bow tails there just to make it look nice and it is all done. So I actually did add on some gumdrops. So these are the Your Next Stamp Pretty Peacock gumdrops. They're in matte and I use the smallest size, the purples and pinks. So I'm just taking a little 
pink one and a little purple one and putting them at the bottom and top. It just adds a little bit of dimension to it and a little pop of color and I just think it looks so cute with the gumdrops. And again, I will have all the products that I shared linked below so you can find them over in the Your Next Stamp Store. And then I'm going to add on another pink one and then also a purple one. So that is my little chapstick holder. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't, please make sure to head over to the Your Next Stamp YouTube channel and subscribe. And I will see you for next week's video. Bye guys.